Joining us now is Eric Gisselson from NASP. So thanks so much for uh, attending Safety Connect this year as an exhibitor and uh, welcome to Meet the Exhibitor. Uh, so we'll, we'll kick things off with just a little, you know, origin story maybe for, for NASP, a little bit about yourself and then uh, what makes you guys the awesome organization that you are. Hey, I appreciate the opportunity, Scott and Jamie. Thank you guys. And again, my name is Eric Gislas, and I'm the uh, executive director. I'm also one of the principal trainers of the National Association of Safety Professionals. Oh gosh, you know, we've been around since uh, the year 2000 and uh, have grown exponentially over the last 21 years. We are considered a full service training and consulting organization. We do specialize in training for uh, managers in safety, occupational health and safety managers, professionals. So we tend to focus on certification courses as well as certification testing. So we do a variety of uh, safety related consulting and training and uh, uh, that's kind of our specialty. So that's kind of a little bit about us. And, and uh, as far as differentiation, we are really known as a cutting edge training organization. We use a lot of adult training methodologies that you don't see a lot. Uh, let's face it, some people might look at safety training and say that's kind of boring stuff and it's a necessary evil, but, but we believe that safety training can be dynamic, it can be exciting. Uh, the people will empow be empowered uh, after going through our courses and uh, really have a different philosophy and a different attitude towards uh, safety that uh, it's kind of our niche, our, our niche market. What's kicking off for the remaining half of 2021 and 2022? Anything new, exciting? Maybe talk a little bit about that if we can. Yeah, absolutely. So Jamie, I appreciate it. Uh, we just received our accreditation uh, through ANAB, which is the Ash ANSI National Accreditation Board. And this is a certifying agency that looks at companies like ours and accredits uh, certifications uh, that uh, are specific to the safety field. So we just had new accreditations for the Master Safety Professional and Certified Safety Director, that's the MSP and the CSD. So guys, these are actual tests right, that you take, and those are those lovely post-nominal designations, those three letters you get to put behind your name. And what we like about these new accreditations is that they're really focused on practical workplace safety, right? Some of the other accreditations in the safety world or some of the certifications, I should say, uh, are a little bit more focused towards math and maybe engineering. Ours is really more the practical approach, uh, things that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. So these accreditations, these certifications are gonna have things like confined space entry or a lockout tagout or electrical or HASCOM or just the things that we focus on a regular basis. And uh, guys, this took us two and a half years to get this accreditation. So we're pretty excited about it. Wow, congratulations. And what are, what are the two? Again? Yeah, the, the highest level is a master safety professional, the MSP. And then the second highest level is a certified safety director. That's a CSD. And again, these are actual tests. It's a 150 question exam. It's closed book. Uh, there, there, you would need to study for it. And uh, there's lots of different ways to study. And the other thing that kind of sets up, us apart, these uh, certifications are designed for individuals that may or may not have uh, a four-year degree in occupational safety and health. I mean, let's face it, not all of us went through the typical schooling of four-year degree and then on and on and on. Some of us went through the school of hard knocks and have a lot of experience as a safety professional, but don't cannot get some of the other uh, certifications because we don't have a four-year degree. Uh, there are tracks with the MSP and the CSD that allow you to do that, which is, is a real benefit to those uh, who are looking for that type of certification. And now you guys were an exhibitor uh, last year at the inaugural Safety Connect 2020. We were. Uh, we're super excited, obviously, to, to, to have you back. 
And if you don't mind just sharing sharing with the audience, um, you know, why you why you guys chose to, to return and, and continue to partner with uh, Safety Connect. Well, the the obvious reason as a vendor uh, is that we got a lot of return on investment. We got a lot of uh, positive feedback about the conference itself. Uh, and I'll tell you, we, we attend a lot of these conferences, Scott, and this was one of the better conferences that we got to go to last year, especially with it being virtual. But I like the virtual aspect of it. I think it allows some flexibility and allows us to do some things that, that you can't, uh, you don't get lost in the maze of some of these larger uh, safety shows. And uh, we had a lot of great feedback. We got a lot of business out of the the uh, show itself. So Safety Connect is a, a winner for us and we will continue to to be there and and uh, be a vendor at the at one of our at the show. So you've got a booth at Safety Connect. Uh, what what can people expect when coming to your booth? You know, are you, are you going to be manning the booth? Do you got a team in there? Are there giveaways? Tell us a little bit about what people can expect. Uh, the answer is D. All of the above. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. So, yeah, we'll have a team of people uh, that will man the booth, or should I say woman the booth, depending on who's going to be in the booth, right? And uh, gosh, you know, we, we want to drive traffic to the booth, so we will definitely have giveaways. I think last year we did a couple of hundred dollar gift certificate, Visa gift certificates. We'll probably be giving away some free memberships and some other NASP swag. We want to get the word out on a lot of the training classes that we do that, uh, you know, with COVID-19, some of this is going to be going back to online. We get that. We understand that. And I'd say the vast majority, probably about 75% of what we do is online. But I, I would also like to point out to your customers that we do design site-specific training. We can come to your facility and do training for your employees uh, a lot of people don't realize that uh, with a larger company like us, we still like to tailor our classes to our clients. And, and I do a lot of traveling all over the United States and actually all over the world, uh, preparing and, and developing and then implementing and teaching these classes. So those are some things that we want to drive home to people that come and visit our booths. Cool. Do, you have, do you have any examples that you could share about the, the custom training that you do just to maybe help? Yeah, I mean, well, we do a lot with a variety of different customers. Like we just finished doing warehouse safety training for one of our clients and they have specific elements. They want to include their standard operating procedures on forklifts. They want to include uh, safety data sheets on the types of chemicals that they're being used at this facility. So we take all of this and implement this into a learning management system that includes training modules that uh, emphasize their standard operating procedures. We have quizzes that go along with it. We have what we call gamification, which is just fancy terminology for uh, reinforcement tools, games, and things like that. They actually take an online test and, and receive a certificate of completion. So uh, that's a very comprehensive uh, scope of what we do for these site-specific classes and, and our clients love it. They, they, they really love it because it does meet the intent of the standard for your training to be site-specific. Where can they find these courses? What, what's the website? How can people get in touch with you, you know, after this video, let's say? Yeah, absolutely. So the, the website is www.naspweb.com. And uh, we have an info at naspweb.com. There's also some contact information on there under our FAQ page. And then it's pretty well laid out on our page. If you're interested in online training, probably our most foundational course is a certified safety manager course. And we do that online or in a classroom style format. Uh, we have our last one in Charleston, South Carolina uh, this year, the last week of September. And then we'll be in Las Vegas in February. You know, we got to go to Vegas, baby, because that's always a good draw for us. And then again, all of these courses we offer online, a uh, variety of train the trainer courses, upper level certification courses, all the way down to some basic awareness level courses for your end users, uh, basic lockout, tagout, confined space, 
that type of thing. And it's pretty much laid out uh, within the scope of the, the tabs on our web page. Uh, pretty easy to navigate for you. I was, I was going to mention too that you're going to be on the panel talking about career development and career paths for, for safety professionals. And, uh, and so I think people should uh, tune in and check that out if, if they haven't, uh, haven't watched that one already and, uh, and get some good insight in what's available out there for, for professional development, career development, uh, different paths that uh, safety professionals can take to, uh, to kind of climb that corporate ladder and advance their career. So. That's so true. And, you know, it's not a uh, one size fits all. Uh, Scott, it's one of those that uh, just depends on your background, your experience, and, and what direction. I always joke around with people that say I want to go into the safety field. That's kind of like saying you want to be a doctor, right? Do you want to be a doctor? Uh, do you want to be a cardiologist? Uh, do you want to be an oncologist? There's so many fields of expertise in the safety world. Uh, there's lots of pathways, and, and I'll be excited to talk about different options for those that are kind of laying out the foundation for which direction they want to choose. Really appreciate you taking the time, Eric, and any, any parting words for the guests? Uh, no, I appreciate the opportunity to talk with you guys, and I encourage everybody to come to the Safety Connect uh, conference. A lot of good speakers, a lot of good vendors. Uh, we're excited about uh, doing another year, and uh, so I hope to see you guys there. All right, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you at the show. <laughs>